Hey everyone, welcome to our partnership spotlight. Today we are going to learn a little bit more about Jackrabbit Swim, Hope Float, their partnership, and all the future plans. So I'm Emily Smith, the marketing director here at Jackrabbit, and I'm really excited to be joined today with Cindy from Hope Float and Mark from Jackrabbit. So let's dive in. Well, first up, joining us from Hope Floats, we've got Cindy, the founder and chairman of the board at Hope Floats Foundation. Cindy has been an advocate for drowning prevention for over 20 years. She served on the board of directors for the U.S. Swim School Association and co-founded Swim Kids Swim Schools with her husband, Dave. But beyond those roles, Cindy received a Silver Speedy Award for Female Entrepreneur of the Year in Consumer Services in 2012 and has led Swim Kids to the prestigious Inc. 5000 list of the nation's fastest growing companies four different times. Hey, Cindy. Hey, <laughs> thanks for the intro. <laughs> I've also got Mark, the co-founder of Jackrabbit and CEO. He co-founded Jackrabbit back in 2004 with his business partner, Mike. And of course, he has a blast growing Jackrabbit in our company, but he also loves drawing on his experience as a gymnast and a business owner to help swim schools, gymnastics programs, dance studios, and other youth activity centers grow their programs, expand their business so that they can further reach into their communities. But when he's not knocking out items off of his bucket list and traveling, Mark also spends a good deal of time mentoring other young business leaders and giving back to the youth activity centers in really big ways. Jack Rabbit currently serves over 6,000 clients and recently earned a top spot on that Inc. 5000 list for its 10th year in a row. Say hi, Mark. Hey, thanks for, thanks for the nice intro. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So 2020 has been a roller coaster for everybody and especially our friends in the swim industry. Jack Rabbit and Hope Float Foundation have forged an exciting new partnership. How will this partnership and the coming enhancements from Jack Rabbit impact the industry? I'm interested to hear kind of what both of you think about that. Cindy, do you want to start us off? Sure. I mean, this coming enhancement from Jackrabbit really has the potential to be a game changer for us and for our industry. We're very excited about it and super grateful for the partnership. It, it literally is going to allow our swim families to round up their tuition each month, basically donating their spare change on a recurring basis. So this will allow swim schools to easily build a scholarship fund by adding a simple question to their enrollment process, just something like, would you like to round up your monthly tuition to save the life of a local child in need? I love that. And Mark, I'm interested to hear from you, why the need for that technology piece? You know, you know why do we have to integrate that into our software solution? Isn't that something that business owners can kind of manually do at the school? Well, I'm super excited about the enhancement and the, and the partnership. Um, I, you know, I liken it to when I go to their grocery store and they ask me if I want to round up, you know, for the charity. And I typically say yes. And it's very similar to that where, you know, this, this revenue or, or the, the fundraising needs to be in a certain bucket. It needs to be convenient. You know, parents are busier than ever, especially now with the kids being home, that it's really all about convenience. And this is a super easy way for the parents to donate to the fund and on a monthly basis. And it's also a great enhancement for the schools where that money can easily go in a separate bucket so they can manage the, the funds. I'm really excited about it. I think the, the set it and forget it mentality is just critical right now to business owners. They don't have the time. But even like you said, Mark, for the, the parents, it's way easier just to set that auto draft up, make your donation and um, just impact more students and more lives. So I'm very excited for that. Now, jumping back into Jackrabbit and Hope Floats, each of you um, have unique missions for the swim community and beyond. How did you guys get here? What's your why? What's your personal why behind these missions um, and, and others like that? Well, I'll jump in first. <laughs> um, you know, building a business, uh, both Mark and I have that in common, right? And it, it can be the rewarding work of a lifetime for sure, but it's, it's not without its significant challenges, especially now. I know when Dave and I um, founded Swim Kids now almost 25 years ago, you know, we, was, we, we risked everything that we had, our homes, our children's college funds, 
And you know, at times it could be a real struggle, um, making ends meet, uh, trying to find the right person to hire, uh, you know, just, just the whole thing. Um, you know, and, and while we were building our business, I always had the sense of the children that our business wasn't able to serve. And they were always with me, even though during that time I was, you know, wasn't able to, to really focus and solve that problem. They just, they were always with me. And so a few years ago, you know, that was 25 years ago, a few years ago, I finally realized I'm like, you know, I'm successful now. I, I have the time <laughs> and I have the resources and I, it's time for me to really sit down and address this issue in a long-term sustainable way more than just giving away free swim lessons that just take off the bottom line of the business you know what was the right way to address this issue um so as i sat down to do that work and create the charity i realized that the solution wouldn't just work for us that it would really work for all of our industry friends and so um, maybe naively at the time, I thought, oh, I'll just make this available to everybody. <laughs> There's a little bit more work than that, but um, that's kind of how I, I got to, to where we are today with Hope Floats. And, you know, I'll say now with the, with the pandemic, um, both swim schools and the families and, and the children that they serve are truly in need more now than, than ever before. Absolutely. Well, and Mark, I know that swim and the swim industry is no accident. It's not an accident that Jack Rabbit got here. So how did you get involved with the swim industry and why Hope Floats? Why is that important to you? Well, the, the swim industry was a, a natural extension from our gymnastics business where a number of gymnastics schools have swimming lessons. So it was a natural fit for us. And I, you know, the, the difference with SWIM is that those are lifelong skills and they are, you know, drowning prevention skills. And it's very personal for me because um, I was a swimmer growing up. I was a lifeguard at a Boy Scout camp growing up. And I ended up saving the life of a child. And he jumped in the pool. You know, he saw other kids in the pool. Uh, he had never been in a pool before. He jumped in the pool um, and went right to the bottom. And we were waiting for him to come up, and he wasn't coming up. So, you know, I, I rescued him. And it was very personal that, you know, here's a child that we asked if he could swim. He said yes. And it was, you know, it easily could have been a, a death. And so that's, that's one thing that really opened my eyes, having grown up around pools, you know, not being with kids who didn't grow up around pools and knowing the, you know, the risk and the dangers and the proper way to manage that. The other, other reason is two of my friends, uh, children have died at houses one was in a hot tub, and one was in a pool. And again, it was easily preventable. And it, it really, you know, really touches me personally that, you know, this charity can prevent, you know, deaths of children that is so easily preventable if we can get kids to take lessons. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, this year, more than ever, I know it's important to both Hope Floats and Jackrabbit to support our clients, our partners, and our friends more than we ever have. But thinking back on what your organizations have offered this year, Mark, thinking about things like the discount programs that you implemented and Cindy, the, the COVID response and the scholarship program, why are these initiatives important? And, and how did you come up with the scholarship program or the discount? Why these initiatives? And how did you land on them? Cindy, do you want to start with the scholarship fund? Of course. So <laughs> I don't know anyone who had pandemic on their strategic plan this year. Mark, <laughs> did you? Can you look? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. None of us were expecting to be closed down for months. And, you know, unfortunately, there are some swim schools and gymnastics schools and other businesses that remain closed today. And um, several have had to make the difficult decision to close their doors for good. 
Um, you know, the one thing that we all share certainly is that we are all working hard right now to save our businesses. And at Hope Floats, we realize that and we're doing everything we can, like you guys are at Jackrabbit, to help. Um, a great thing about what we're doing at Hope Floats, though, is that Hope Floats scholarships can be a big part of a swim school's recovery plan because scholarship students will help to rebuild enrollment every bit as much as a, a paying student will um, as they're bringing that same needed revenue into swim schools. So the COVID scholarship relief fund was inspired with exactly that in mind to help our swim school partners when they needed it most. And Mark, and we can't be more grateful to you and to the team at Jackrabbit um, for your very generous $5,000 donation that helped us get that fund off the ground. Um, we're really, really thankful for that. And every Hope Floats partner did receive a check from that fund um, that will help bring needed wow. revenue back into their schools. That's great. I thought that was so creative of you guys to come up with a fund and a solution that not only, of course, impacted families and children, but also was a really creative solution to helping our swim schools stay on their feet and, and keep their missions going. So it was very creative. Hats off. That was awesome to watch. Um, Mark, how about you and Jackrabbit? I know, you know, we did a lot of, we did the discount program. We um, helped Hope Floats with their scholarships, but why was that important for you this year? Well, when, you know, when the pandemic hit, you know, we had no idea what the, what the impact would be to us. Um, early on, we saw the impact with our clients and especially the swim schools because they were not able to do virtual classes like many other industries could. So, you know, and they're the ones, they're, they're the reason we exist. So, you know, at, at that point, we really went into a give back mode and what can we do to help people that are hurting a whole lot more than we are. So at that point, you know, we decided to give a discount to every single client that we had. They didn't have to apply for it. And we didn't know how long we could do that. We didn't know what the impact to our bottom line would be, but it was the right thing to do because they are the reason we exist. So that was, that was number one. Number two was the enhancements these schools needed. You know, all of a sudden they were having to do mass refunds, mass credits, virtual classes. So we dropped everything that we were working on and quickly were able to make and make those enhancements that they were in dire need for, you know, in a very unusual time. So we did that. Also, another thing that we did was the Road to Reopening resource online guide, where it was all these best practices and ideas that we saw everywhere in the forums that we could share back with the schools to help them, you know, get reopened and delivering lessons as soon as possible. So, you know, we did those things. We did what we could. And, and then, you know, really, we've been very blessed with, with our business. It was not impacted like we thought it would be. Uh, it was also not impacted like it was with our clients. So, you know, we were able to do those things and, you know, and able to survive this time. Yeah, and I would say one of the things kind of from not an outsider, but an outsider looking in the things that I noticed about Hope Floats and Jackrabbit is, you know, you never were an island. You guys weren't just, you know, an organization that was super self-contained. You've had great partners. You have great networks all around you. And you and the clients and your partners were able to kind of, um, you know, rely on that. So at Jackrabbit, we were able to say, you know, we've got great partners in Hope Floats or Mobile Inventor, Express Payroll. We have all these other resources with information to share. And same with you guys, Cindy. You guys have such a great network of vendors and partners to, um you know, help your partners and your clients out so they can kind of tap into those resources and, and that wealth of knowledge. And I think that was really important in a time like this. Not, not one person had all the answers, but we knew a lot of people that had a little bit of the solution <laughs> and we all just kind of rallied together as a village. So I thought that was unique. Well, um, Christy was sharing some really cool stats with us. So can I 
punt to you in any kind of way so you can share, yeah. you know, our, our overlapping clients. But I know when we, yeah. when we put together this partnership and the sponsorship, we, we did some research, we found out the numbers, and I think it would be really interesting to share yeah. the reach that this potential integration could have. So I'm going to give it to you. Yeah, so just to give a little perspective on what this enhancement can mean in terms of reach, um, currently there's more than 45,000 families in Jackrabbit who attend Hope Floats Partner School. So, you know, let's just say half, half of those are willing to add a dollar a month, which that's pretty reasonable. That's not even a cup of coffee, right? So if half of them gave a dollar, that would raise more than $270,000 a year for swim scholarships. So that would be 16,000 swim lessons a year. So you can really see how that is gonna add up over time and just affect thousands if not millions of children who wouldn't otherwise be able to attend. It's amazing. I think that's awesome. And it'll only grow, you know, as the swim schools get back up on their feet and more swim clients on board with Jackrabbit and on board with Hope Floats. I mean, that, that reach just gets bigger and bigger. So I thought those numbers were really cool. I didn't want to miss the chance to share them. Yeah, thank um, you. The other yeah. thing I might want to add um, and just kind of tip our hand a little bit, everything's been slowed down to the pandemic. All, we've talked strategic plan for a, a second, but like, you know, that's been upside down for all of us as well. But, you know, our scholarship program is going to work across all the children's industries. We've started in swimming because that's where that's where we came from. And that's where Hope Floats came from, the title, and it all made sense. But, you know, as we started to build um, this organization and we realized the impact and the structure, I mean, it seamlessly flows across to gymnastics and to dance and to those things as well. And so I know with Jackrabbit, as you guys serve all those industries, this enhancement that you're doing, it's not just going to benefit the swim people, it's going to benefit everybody. Um, and, you know, we hope to be serving those other um, entities and, and sports very soon as well. I love that. Well, looking down the road, five years from now, we, the three of us get back together. What do you hope that you're saying about this partnership and this integration and our, our friends in the swim world? Cindy, what do you hope you're saying in five years? <laughs> well, first of all, I hope it's in person. <laughs> and then I'm able to like, give you guys a big hug and a high five for a job well done because I think we're all about done with Zoom everything. Um, Agreed. But, you know, seriously, I think um, in five or 10 years, you know, we'll be looking at the launch of this partnership potentially as, as a catalyst for a type of charitable giving in our industry that's um, really transformative um, as, a, as a way to reach children and families that we weren't able to before. I mean, like I was saying before, you know, in 10 years, there could be millions of children whose lives have been made better or even saved because of this partnership and the spare change given by families who care. Great. How about you, Mark? What do you want to be saying in five years? Well, I want to be able to look back and see, you know, the, the number one preventable death for children, that the number of deaths has been reduced and that, you know, we can look at our efforts and see that we've been part of that impact you know, of eliminating a preventable death of a child. Well, I had a great time talking with both of you, and I'm really excited for what the future holds for this partnership and for the swim schools and the students that it'll impact for the better. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to sit down with us and let us in on the behind the scenes magic that goes on. Um, for all of you watching, to learn more about Jackrabbit Swim, check out our blog at jackrabbitswim.com or keep in touch by dropping us a line. You can find our email right there on the screen and we do look for those to come in. We wanna know how you're doing and what your questions are. So drop us a line anytime. If you have not considered partnering with Hope Floats, I really encourage you, I think all of us do, um, to check out the Hope Floats website, follow them across all the social channels and most importantly, take action and get involved. So. With that, we'll sign off. Everybody say goodbye. We'll see you out there soon. Bye, guys. Bye, thanks. Thank you.